When Microsoft Office 2007 was released, Microsoft introduced a new feature inside of Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. This is a feature that prior to 2007, none of the Office applications had. And this deals with creating more complex diagrams through basic shapes. This is called SmartArt. Take a look. Through SmartArt, we can create very fancy diagrams through a couple of simple clicks of our mouse. Watch this. I'm going to go up to my Insert tab, top of my screen. On the Insert tab, we saw illustrations earlier. We had pictures, online pictures, we had Excel shapes. That's where you got some of your basic shapes. Now, in the past, if I wanted to create something like an org chart or maybe a process flow diagram, I'd have to use basic shapes and really start to diagram this myself. Create all the rectangles in the organization chart, create the connector lines. It was a huge hassle. Well, no longer. Now, right below the Excel shapes, I have SmartArt. And SmartArt are some canned, out of the box, fancy diagrams. Take a look. I'll give that button a click. This opens up my Choose SmartArt graphic window. And I've got all these different categories of SmartArt that I can pick from. Fancy little diagrams. Let's see, I'm going to go to Process. And now I've got all these process diagrams I can pick from. I'm going to grab this kind of uh, donut circle one here. It's called the Circle Accent Timeline. So I've got some type of process that I want to demonstrate to my users over some timeline. Well, through this SmartArt graphic, I'll select it, I'll hit OK. I can now diagram this process, this timeline process, through these nice graphical shapes. They've given me this nice little table here on the left where I can start to manipulate the shapes and the content within those shapes. So let's say something like, oh, you know what? I'm going through a document approval process. This is over some period of time. So my first step in getting a document approved is I got to create the document. So let's say uh, create document. Let's spell that the right way. It was just a DOC, creating the document. Let's call it create document. All right. Now let's see the second step. Once it's been created, I then need to send it for approval. And let's say, uh, oops, let's spell that right. Send for approval. All right, let's make sure I get my spaces in there. Now I've got two major steps in here, creating the document and sending for approval. Perhaps there's some sub steps within each of those. Let's say for creating the document, you gotta do a brainstorm. Maybe you're gonna hold a meeting with your coworkers and you're gonna brainstorm the purpose or the design of this document. Then you're gonna do the initial draft of the document. All right, initial, initial, is that right? I feel like I'm missing an I in there. I think I'm missing an I. You get the point. So I'm gonna create the document. That create creation phase has two sub phases in there. And now for sending approval, I've got two steps. I've got to send the emails. And I've got to collect the responses. All right. Now, this particular diagram gave me two major steps. But you know what? I think I need a third one in this creation and approval of the document. So what I'm going to do is after collect responses, S, responses, I'll hit my Enter key. This creates in a third additional sub-step, but I don't want a sub-step, I want a next major step. So what I'm going to do here is up above, I've got some additional tools. With the SmartArch selected, I get two new tabs, Design and Format. On the Design tab, underneath Create Graphic, I've got the one sub-bullet selected, but I'm going to promote it. I'm going to move it up in the hierarchy. And now I've got a next major step. And we'll call this one uh, final approval. All right, and that sounds good. I've got this really fancy diagram that I could have created through the simple shapes that we were talking about earlier, but this is streamlined. It's out of the box, fancy little diagrams that we can take advantage of. Just filling in the table, the little bullet list to create your smart art graphic. 
Now, if you want to do some formatting with this, you've got all sorts of formatting options. I'm going to select the border, not a specific shape, but just the border. I'll go up to my design tab, and here I got smart art styles. And you got all sorts of styles to pick from. I'll just hover my mouse over the top of these. These are pretty slick. That was kind of neat. I think I'm going to run with this one here. This one's kind of neat. Adds some type of dimension to it, gives it a little more 3D effect. That's a pretty slick one. If you want to get into the nitty gritty of formatting your shapes, your smart art all by yourself, you don't have to use styles. All those are quick and dirty, and just right away you can format your shape. But you can also go to the Format tab, and you can do all your formatting to your heart's content. Select the shape, change the color. Maybe I want my main shapes here to actually be a different color. So I'll make these ones, we'll make them orange. I like that blue and orange. That looks good together, actually. Let's grab that. So you, can, you don't have to stick with the styles. You can really do it on your own as well through the Format tab. But you got Smart Art, really quick. Diagrams, fancy diagrams. Not just this one, but you got a whole slew of them to pick from. Org charts, process flow charts, um, hierarchy charts, all sorts of stuff for you to work with. Try it out. I've just created a blank workbook here, went to insert, inserted smart art, grabbed one that caught my eye, and now I'm just filling in the basics that make up this diagram. And try formatting it as well. Use a style, or maybe hop over to the format tab and format it on your own. Try it out.